Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. We're going to go ahead and do a Web 3.0 beginner guide to show you how to create a Wombat wallet. This wallet is relatively, actually it's been around for a while, but it, it's starting to spread and used, be used in a lot of other locations. Plus, you can go ahead and connect it to Womplay, which is great to allow you to get some extra rewards uh, just for playing games online. Uh, so what I wanted to do is go ahead and show you how to create it. Uh, there's a couple options here when you're going to create it. You can either do it as a browser extension, similar to a MetaMask, or you can go ahead and set it up on iOS or Android. For this video, I'm going to go ahead and focus on the extension, the PC side of it. Uh, it's a very similar process, and I'll kind of highlight the areas that you can go ahead and click on to show you how to do it for the, the iOS or Android uh, but again, we're going to focus on the PC side, but the setup process is very similar. But before we jump into the video, please take the, a quick look at this disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please make sure you do your own research before you jump into any project. Don't take my word for it. Just make sure it's right for your situation. In order to get started with this process, you go ahead to help.wombat.app. Uh, and it's going to bring you here to this screen here and you're going to go ahead and see it right there you can go ahead and do google play you can do ios or apple store or you can do google chrome uh, you can also probably find this in the 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 uh, google play store and the uh, app store uh, or you can click on here and it'll give you a link to that if you're on your mobile device but in order to go ahead and add it as an extension to uh, google chrome you go ahead and click on this and it's going to go ahead and take you to the extension page. You click on add to Chrome and then it's going to go ahead and install it. Are you sure? Uh, you can go ahead and add extension and it's going to go ahead and add it up here. And this screen, the registration screen is going to come up here. But before we jump into that process, I do want to remind you if it's not showing up here and you want it to show up here as far as highlighted on your, your bar, you can go ahead and click on this icon here. Scroll down to where you have it located and you'll see it here. And all you have to do is click on this little pin and it's going to go ahead and show up here on the top. So it's easy to access and easy to get to. All right. So now that we have that there, let's go ahead and register. So if we click on register, it's going to go ahead and say, can I register with your device? You go ahead and confirm. Uh, if you would like to receive marketing, you can click on that. It's up to you. Uh, and then you have a couple choices here. You can connect it to Twitter, to your Apple, to Google, and so forth. Uh, in my case, I'm going to go ahead and connect it to Google. So I will click on this one and it'll connect it. I'll probably not show you my email address because it, I just don't want to do that on the video. But all you have to do is you can select which one you want. Uh, you can also do it on Twitter, which is a popular option. So let's go ahead and click on Google and we'll move forward from there. All right, I'm actually going to go ahead and show it to you. Uh, I'm actually using a throwaway email, so it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and again, I should put the caveat out there that this this wallet that I'm creating here is a throwaway wallet. It'll be dispersed of it, will never be used. So you, I wouldn't even try and grab it if you want to grab it. Uh, it it's not going to be used. There's not going to be anything in it. Uh, all right, so now that that caveat's out of the way, let's go ahead and you can read everything, make sure everything, the terms and service you agree to. Uh, and then you go ahead and hit continue. And what it's going to do is it connects. And now you're going to go ahead and set a phrase. So you can set whatever phrase that you want to use uh, as far as this goes. And remember it because you will type it quite a lot. So I'm going ahead and, and typing uh, something. And it has to be at least eight characters. Uh, I went ahead and just typed in nine. Uh, you, if you want to see, you can go ahead and select the little I just to make sure it's correct. Uh, and then go ahead and confirm. What it's going to ask you to do is to set up a blockchain, whichever blockchains that you want to use. Uh, what I'll do is I'll select it for Wax. Actually, no, let's go ahead. And again, I'm going to go ahead and connect this to a throwaway wallet. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just do Poly for, for the example here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and create the account. You don't have a Polygon account. Uh, so we'll go ahead and create it. Uh, and then you can go ahead and create the address and you back it up. Um, this is also very important, whether you want to use your Google Drive or you want to go ahead and use a Dropbox, uh, you do want to go ahead and back this up uh, because if you ever want to put it on a different device, uh, you'll need to put in your, your, your phrase that we just created, plus it's going to ask you to connect uh, to whatever uh, backup service that you have. In this case, I'll go ahead and just use my Google Drive. 
Uh, and then it's going to go ahead and ask me if I want to go ahead and use this. Are you sure? So we'll go ahead and select it. Uh, you can already say that it already has access to some. Uh, so you can go ahead and read through all, all this to make sure it's okay for you if you trust it. Uh, and then you go ahead and hit continue. And it's going to go ahead and back up everything to whatever account that is. Again, this is a throwaway account for me. I have to keep mentioning it because I know someone out there is going to say something. But congratulations, you have your Wombat wallet now. Now that all those steps are completed, if you go up here to this, it's going to tell you welcome back. Uh, and it's going to show you all the different areas for your account. And you can, like I said, this, this can host, this is almost like a MetaMask, but not quite as extensive. Uh, but you can go ahead and use all these different blockchains or currency on it and be able to access it wallet. You can do swaps and you can use it for a number of different things, including again, one play, which is one of their nice things that you can go ahead and do. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and get your, your address, uh, you can go ahead and do that, or you can use it for whatever, uh, whatever you want to go ahead and connect it to. So I hope this was helpful. Go ahead in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any additional questions on this as far as setting it up. If you have any other wallets that you want me to go ahead and focus on or any other blockchains uh, that you don't know what wallet to use, go ahead and comment down below. I'll be happy to go ahead and uh, set up some uh, additional videos around those. I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.